Well, good morning, folks. Hey, currently it's 45 degrees. That beats the 30s that we have had. The last three days it's been in the 30s in the morning and getting up to around 55 for the high. But today, I believe it's going to get up to around 70. Beautiful weather here on the Tennessee River. Today we're going to fish for crappie in a little different way. I'm going to be using two pound test line, a small reel right here. It's a Fluger President, small jig under a small float for suspended crappie. The fish are suspended, they're scattered. That's what they're doing right now. Um, this pattern the way I'm going to be fishing today. There are several patterns that will work on your lake at any given time, but today I'm going to fish up shallow. This is a fish stalker. It's uh, called the 1.75 Super Slab Tail. It's a new color. I have four or five different colors in here, and they're all new or relatively new, four or five months old. Um... The 1.75, which means an inch and three quarter long, and uh, it's a good jig. When they're really hard to catch, I'll use these. I like to use all kinds of jigs. I mean, I don't care if it's from Walmart or the dollar store. Or <laughs> but these have a unique action. Let's look at it in the water. Y'all see that tail? We should do pretty good, but one of the things that I'm looking for right now more than anything is I want a little bit more wind, believe it or not. Uh, the reason I want wind is because this water is real clear. Now I'm fishing with just a little bitty small float. You can see how small it is. Like I said, two pound line, and I believe this is a six and a half foot rod, real limber. It's got a real forgiving tilt see how forgiving that is that's the key to that two pound line i wouldn't fish one pound line on it but i believe it's going to be pretty good for two pound line i've never tried this rod with two pound line but you got to make sure that you have a real forgiving rod when you're using a little line like this what about that i seen that fish folks That's how clear the water is right here. That's why we needed some chop or a little bit, little bit of wind. But I actually seen that crappie under that jig. Then he turned away from it and I just left it there, moved it a little bit and he hit it. Now that happened. Let's net him right here. I'm moving real slow because I don't want to disturb the fish. Now we're getting a little breeze, good. We could start catching fish. Look at there. Slab tail is gonna be the deal today, I believe. That's a good crappie, about 11 inches long black crappie. Let's let him go. These fish has been really scattered and one reason is because we've had a, a lack of rainfall usually by this time here in north alabama we have a lot of rain and that hasn't happened so far this fall and it's caused the crappie to do quite a bit different what they usually do they're not really bunching up the shallow fish are not ba uh, bunching up they're scattered There we go. That's a crappie. Folks, if y'all notice, I don't have a float on here. The water is way, way too clear for these fish. This is gin clear water, and that float was hindering these fish from biting. Now I'm fixing to catch some crappie. Now, oftentimes, that's not the case. But that's what I'm going to have to do today to catch them. Because as soon as I took that float off, made that little adjustment, 
I got bit, so that tells me right off the bat that's a big crappie right there. That's a black crappie. Get down here with him. Who's tore my jig up? I'm gonna have to tie me another jig on, but that's a beautiful fish. That fish there is probably around 12 inches long. But I had to do that to catch them. That float was a no-go. But let's let him go. That's a pretty fish. I ain't no doubt about it. Let go my thumb. Let's see what the name of that color is. Blue eyes and pearl. All right, I've got me another one rigged up right here. Now the reason I knew I had to do that water so clear I seen two crappie follow my jig and they turned away from it and I knew right away that that float spooked them. Sometimes it won't. Now if there was a ripple on the water in other words some wind coming through here that float wouldn't make any difference folks because I've caught them like that before. Let's turn around here and fish. Right there is where I caught one there we go. Good crappie. Good crappie. I'm having a difficult time catching them, folks. Sounds like I'm grappling, but I'm not. I'm wishing for a little bit of breeze or something because this water is so clear that I'm having to be very, very quiet. I'm not using this trolling motor no more than I have to. But there's another good black crappie. See, I'm just easing around. <laughs> I have to. If I don't, I can't catch them. I could not catch them in here, not today. Boy, that's a big fish. That's a slab. That's the biggest one I've caught in a while, I believe. Look at there. When that fish thumped it, I knew it was a good one. That long limber rod's taking up the shock of that light line. And you know, crappie has a real soft mouth. Y'all can look at that. You can see plumb through that crappie's mouth. Just a little hook set's all you need. But I tell you, that's really important when you're fishing like this right here. Now, this is not opinion. This is fact. Quit, quit. Let's let him go. Be super quiet. In shallow water, you'll catch a lot more fish. He's tuckered. There he goes, though. Bursel's got yellow toenails. There we go. Boy, that fish hit that and come straight to me, folks. I don't like it when they do that. They're hard to hook. Or a little bit harder to hook for me. Golly. That one's got the power. He has got the power. I guarantee you some crappie are stronger than others. Look at there. What are you doing, boy? You're whooped. I got that little size 8 hook right there, and I take it easy with a size 8 hook, but the fact of the matter is, it'll hold them as good as any hook. They are. If you have a rod that's real spongy, now that is another slab crappie. I want y'all to look the size of that one. One thing about these cameras right here, some of them just don't. Look at that little hook. Golly, bum, they ain't nothing like this, folks. I would encourage anybody to get out and go fishing when you can because it's good for you. I lost my balance right there. Let's let him go. Go on back. You ain't nothing but a pretty thing. Quiet. No, no, you're a bad baby. There he goes. 
It takes a darn big old man to whoop me. I mean a big old hairy humpback man. It just don't take him long. I'm just bringing that jig back just slow, slow, slow. I can do that because it's a real light jig. I'm fishing real shallow. That's another thing, too. I, hey, it's really important. If you're fishing real shallow water, just downsize that jig and that line, you'll find that you'll start catching a lot more fish. A lot more fish. There's a little bluegill up there shallow. We don't want him. Right out in there is where I expect to catch a crappie. There we go. That fish hit way off the cover. Way off the cover. They're starting to perk up, folks. Only because of this breeze that we have right here. That's another black crappie. We'll get down here and net him or lip him. He's hooked good. He's hooked right in the doggone top of the mouth. <laughs> See, he wouldn't have come off for nothing. Beautiful. Let's let him go. There he goes. I want to thank y'all very much for all the great comments, everything y'all done for this channel. Hey. Hard to say anything else. I've, I've thought about a lot of things to say, but I just deeply appreciate y'all spending a few minutes with me on the water, in the great outdoors, in amongst it. But today, it was all about light line, long cast, and little baits. Slab tail jigs, well, they're good ones. Uh, the company sent me um, four or five packs. I'm going to use them a little as we go along. When I meet them, um, I fish to my power. Um, what's, what I'm confident in, and that's the way you should fish. Whatever you're confident is in whatever bait, by all means use it. Thank y'all very much. Hey. Remember, go fishing where you can, because it's good for you.